everyone, Tony Phelan from Competition X, and today we've got something new from Team Associated, the Reflex DB10 two-wheel drive off-road desert buggy. Uh, myself and Rich Morgan from the RC Network were both invited down to Associated to check out a pair of their new vehicles. I got the DB10, Rich got this cool looking rat rod. So uh, we're going to get inside this box and show you this awesome new vehicle from Team Associated. Okay, so before we break open this box, let's go over a few of the things that they put on the box that this vehicle has. It comes with a brushless system. It's a 3300 kV brushless system. It has a, let's flip it over here. Uh, it has one of the Reedy, new Reedy SC600 BL brushless uh, speed controls, a Reedy 0712 MG Metal Gear Servo, uh, a new radio system. Can't really see what the name of it is, but we'll look when we get inside the box. Uh, heavy duty um, sealed gear differential, aluminum shock bodies, new wheels and tires. It's pretty cool. So uh, let's just get right inside. Oh, one other thing this has that's new is, um, is associated with DVC or dynamic vehicle control. Vehicle control. It's kind of like a, um, a traction control system for this thing. I got a chance to drive it and it works really good. So uh, let's just get inside the box here. Wait over there. All right, so of course we have the buggy. Let's put that there. We'll get to some of the details in that in just one moment. Uh, so it's got a little bag of preload clips, the standard AE Ziploc bag here with all of the uh, paperwork, uh, VRC Pro, um, key code for VRC Pro Online Racing, the owner's manual for the SC, for the SC600 BL speed control, uh, XP120, that's the name of the new radio system, XP120. It's got a little bag of a couple spare parts, uh, some tools, there we got that. Uh, a bind plug, what's this guy here? Uh, this looks like it's a, something for brushless motor, or brushless, uh, yeah, brushless motor uh, instruction manual. And then of course the Reflex 10, oh, yeah, the Reflex 10, um, Instruction manual. Now, the Reflex, uh, the DB10, which is this one, and the Rat Rod both run on the same chassis. Basically, the only differences are the body and the way the lighting system works. Yes, it does come with lights. Uh, and then, of course, you got an online thing here, a certificate of conformity. That's probably nothing you're gonna need. So, anyway, all right. Let's get to the buggy. So, as you can see, this is kind of modeled after a real desert buggy. It's kind of got the real cab forward, uh, design. It's got the little hood scoop here. It's kind of got the twin motor design thing here, which is cool. Uh, a, a Lexan wing with carbon fiber print. You can see lights in the front and lights in the back. And I think I have the battery still plugged in from today. I know that's a no-no, but I think it's still plugged in. So when it's turned on, you get a chance to see the lights. There's the fronts and there's the rears. Pretty cool. All right. So let's get the body off real quick. Oh. And I just pulled that right out. Anyway, there's the little pigtail, the lead for the um, for the rear lights, and the front lights on this particular one are pre-wired all the way up to the front. So, all right, there it is. Now, what I was told was this was an SC5M chassis where they moved the motor to the back. Um, I can kind of see that, but it does look like kind of a whole new design. So um, maybe we'll see some more vehicles in this in this lineup. But all right, so we got here. Oh, so here's the new wheels and tires. Those are pretty neat looking. I'll go and throw those out there. I'm gonna have some pictures taken too, so you can, uh, up close, you can see those. Ooh, it stops rolling, huh? All right, there. Uh, small little front bumper, very strong front bumper. Uh, the lights mounted in the bumper, of course. It's got aluminum shocks. Um, get some battery and stuff out of here. It uses a pair of Velcro straps here that are difficult to get to slightly if you have chubby fingers. Let's try to get the right here. There we go. All right. Get that battery out of there. Okay. It comes with the comes with the um, little foam block here too that you can remove. And that feels taped in, but you should be able to move that that foam block if you want to do some tuning to move the battery backward and forward. Um, the the waterproof or I guess water resistant speed control with a nice switch, and of course in here your we don't like these things here. Um, inside here your receiver that is also water resistant. Uh, so the wires to the front. Uh, the metal gear server up front. Now this does have a 
servo saver, but if you're familiar with team associated products, the servo saver usually goes on the actual bell crank itself. On this particular vehicle though, it's a servo mounted servo saver. So it's on here instead of up front here. Um, it's got a metal, metal piece up here, metal um, hinge pin, hinge pin brace. Uh, they'll probably steel turnbuckles. Um, yeah, it's very nice. It's a nice, firm feel to it. What does that say on there? 86 millimeter rear dog bones? Nope, those are CVD drives. Uh, full bearings. Uh, looks like you, they've got this little tab on the back, so possibly maybe they're going to be adding um, a wheelie bar, perhaps. Not quite sure what that's for. Uh, and then, of course, it has new uh, body mounts on here as well. And um, yeah, that's about it. So let's look at the radio too. Forgot to bring the radio. All right, so here's the new XP120 radio. Much nicer looking, looking than the previous model. The buttons are all a little bit smaller, so it's a little more attractive. Um, turn it on, you've got your power light there. Uh, you've got your, let's see, it's got a dual rate uh, trims, steering trims, dual rate on both the throttle and the steering, and steering trims for both of those as well. It also has throttle and um, steering reversing switches. Other than that, that's about it, but it has a nice feel to it. Oh, it's got a cool little steering wheel. Look at that, a little brake disc inside there. But it feels really good, it's got a nice feel. And there it is, the Team Associated Reflex DB10. Pretty cool little buggy. Can see, uh, can see some guy, oh, so, sorry, one more thing. And that is the um, DVC. Now that is con controlled by the receiver itself. There is a little pot on there where you can turn it up or turn turn up or turn down the gain on the, 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 uh, the DVC. If you're not familiar with DVC, let me just do this for you. You'll get a good idea of what it is. Okay. So DVC, when the car is running, it uses, it senses the, the, the pitch of the car, the way the car moves, and it controls either the steering or the throttle to keep the car straight. You know how it does that? That is the DVC handling the car when it's spinning out. Right now, it doesn't, the DVC doesn't understand the car's in the air, it thinks it's spinning out, so it's trying to adjust the steering. So when you're out there running, typically in a two-wheel drive vehicle, if you're going fast and straight line, you slam on the brake, the car's gonna start spinning around. When we were test running these, we were coming at us as fast as we could come and slam on the brake, and the rear tires would lock up, but it stayed in a nice straight line. Did a couple little, these kind of things, which was kind of cool, but um, overall, the system works really great, so I'm excited about this. Uh, we're gonna go out tomorrow morning with some 3S battery packs and um, see how well it works. So uh, stay tuned for a, a full review on this as well as a cool run video. And um, thanks for watching. And if you liked what you're seeing here, please take a moment and click that subscribe button. And um, thanks everybody and we'll see you soon.